Welcome back Tangerines from Puerto Morelos, Mexico. It has been over three months since we have done anything or left our apartment because of the pandemic, but today we are off on an adventure. Mom, I would like to order an egg sandwich. I don't eat gluten-free bread, I'm okay with regular bread. <laughs> well, thank you for always being here, Lazga, and being ready to pick up anything that I drop on the floor. Good luck with that egg sandwich. So here's what we're taking with us today. Got a UV shirt to protect from the sun since we can't wear sunscreen in the cenotes. Two Turkish towels, these are really awesome, quick dry. Natural, organic sunscreen, we're not gonna wear it in the cenote, but for afterwards, this is environmentally friendly. Of course, a wallet. We've got a grapefruit, some almonds and peanuts as a snack, hat, waters, camera, boyfriend. Action. driving our car to a set of cenotes called Kinha. It's about 30 minutes driving from the Colonia side of Puerto Morelos and all I can say is I am so 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 beyond excited to get out of the apartment and to be on an adventure and doing something fun really doing anything. I'm just so excited. <laughs> if you remember the last cenote video we did we went to Cenote La Noria which is actually on the same road as this one. There's a lot out in this area. One very important thing to remember, almost as soon as you leave the Colonia area of Puerto Morelos, you're going to lose service. So you either want to screenshot the maps or just keep it up open on your phone so you know where to go. There is lots of signage that mm. says, hey, Cenote Sapote, which is the area where these are at, or Cenote Quinha. If you pay close attention to the signage, you'll see it and you'll get there. But yeah, keep that map open on Google Maps. Dog breath. Looks like you made a friend. Oh yeah. We're besties. Wag 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 wag. <laughs> oh my gosh. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much random stuff here. Like this little guy. Made out of tires. <laughs> that is one of the coolest planters I've ever seen. It's a yanturro. <laughs> <laughs> And then you have these chairs that are prevalent in Merida. Aren't they called kissing chairs? I don't know, come sit in it. Okay. Yes, kissing chairs, because look. Mm. We have several swings here. We have a wood swing, a tire swing unlike anything I've ever seen. And then you have ball swings. The ball swings seem like the most fun to me. I feel like this is the start of a Miley Cyrus video though. Yeah, definitely. How, how do you get on? I think you just get, get on? on. You gotta shave your head though. <laughs> how to go? I came in like a wrecking ball. And then <laughs> what? I don't know what the rest of the words are. Actually, these are a lot of fun. I like the swing. What do you think? Yeah, I feel like Miley. <laughs> These look kind of like bird of paradise, but they're unlike anything I've ever seen because there's so many flowers on each little stem. When we arrived, we had to sanitize our hands, sanitize our shoes, and then we were able to enter. Crystal's right there with you. <laughs> then we got our temperature taken. They actually recorded everyone's temperature, wrote it down after they took the temperature. Then we paid to get in. 400 per person for the two cenotes, but <laughs> I think we're getting it for 300 because we live here. Only then could we go on and explore the rest of it. Ooh, I'm excited. So right. cenotes are very fragile ecosystems, so it's very important not to wear anything like sunscreen or perfume or lotion or even makeup. Or, or mosquito or, repellent. Yeah, mosquito repellent, anything like that. So we're totally bare, totally clean, and a little bit stinky because it's very sticky and hot out. But I'm really excited to see what this one looks like. He was saying, oh, this is the way in over here and there were two platforms to jump from and then he's like, you have to climb up the rope. The way to get out, you climb the rope. No, you climb the rope. I'm like, very funny, where are the stairs? Yeah. <laughs> and we now go down to the underworld. Oh, I hear bats. Oh, yep, there's bats down here. So Mexican butterflies. <laughs> Mexican butterflies, I love it. 
Oh, it's so serene. It's gonna be so quiet. Wow. Oh, there's another set of stairs over there. Oh. Oh, yep, I see some Mexican butterflies, aka. Murcielagos. Murcielagos. I almost had a relampagos again. <laughs> that would be lightning. You can see a little bit to the outside world there. This is where we came in, these stairs. This is where we could jump down. And that's where we could be Miley Cyrus again. Oh, how it feels it is so fresh. <laughs> that feels good though. It's so hot out. It's crystal clear. It's cold. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. It's yes, your feet. <laughs> Maybe my feet are extra hot then because this feels freezing. So I've been in here, at least my feet in here, for maybe a minute now and it feels good, but it's really cold at first and all cenotes are like this. This is why I wouldn't want to just jump in because I cannot handle that type of temperature shock to the body. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a fish. Oh, there is a little fishito. <laughs> <laughs> Pesito. <laughs> Whoa, this looks really cool with the light shining down. You can see all the way to the bottom practically. Okay, I really love the cenote because you have some pockets of light that are coming in. Yeah, I like that factor. It lets you see how deep it is and how clear the water is. But I love cenotes because I feel like they're very refreshing spiritually, but also in like a physical aspect too. This is perfectly purified water because it filters, it's groundwater that filters through limestone, which, <laughs> and I think I also remember reading that it has other like minerals and properties that are actually restorative to the body, so. It wouldn't surprise me, but it sure is beautiful down here. And there sure are bats down here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we can make a ghost video down here with the lighting you can get. Like right now I have my face lit up and it's all dark behind me. Come be in the ghost video with me. Um. So we're heading over to another cenote that's part of Kinha now that's open air and so this one's going to be totally different. And we can drive ourselves over but we're opting to take their transportation so we don't have to drive our car on the bumpy road. And this is where we die. <laughs> People ask us all the time, is Mexico dangerous? And if you're doing shit like this, yes, yes, yes it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ride it in the back of a pickup truck. No, 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 it's not, it's not. Oh, 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 my hat fell off. <laughs> Just if you're talking about the danger. <laughs> dangerous for articles of clothing also. Javier, thank you. Gracias. Thank you, Diego. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I will just hold on to this now. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're at Cenote Blanca Flor. This is a super cool sidewalk. They have cross sections of trees cut out with cement around it. Oh my gosh. So you can go up here and jump off this ledge, off this ledge, or off this ledge. Where are you gonna jump from? Uh, <laughs> much, much lower. <laughs> yeah, the last time I tried jumping from up high in a cenote, I ended up chipping a tooth and breaking a finger. Oh, and you can jump from over there too. Wow. Ooh, the zip line. That looks fun. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not nervous of the water, but the height. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty high. Okay. You got this. You got this. Let's go. You're alive! How is it, Jordan? No oh, bingo flip-flops. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring them, I'm sorry. How was it though? Fun? Yeah, it was fun. That goes fast. It's a pretty steep angle. <laughs> He's yelling at me. Let, Let go! go. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna run into the wall otherwise. 
What's that? Next label. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Do you want to try the little one? Maybe. I'm just gonna like get acclimated to the water first. Okay. I like that there's so many different access points. Yeah. It's cool that there's three different zip lines. One very low right here. And then that medium one that I just went on. And then there's a very high one that I don't know if I ever <laughs> yeah, that's, take a lot. <laughs> that's a crazy one. It's not quite as clear water as the other one, but you can still see where there, there's these lilies out there. You can kind of see how far they go down, but it's gotta be deep for you to be able to jump in from that high up and not hit the bottom and not have to worry about it. No hay cocodrilos, ¿verdad? <laughs> Muy bien. Do it. You really know how to make that look sexy. I'm so grateful. <laughs> oh, this does feel really good. I just hope there's no water monsters. It feels so good. We have the heat from the sun, but it feels amazing. It's not nearly as cold as the last one. It feels really, really good to get into this. So I typically like the cave style ones that are completely underground <laughs> as opposed to these, which are open air since you can't wear sunscreen or anything. And then therefore you can more easily get sunburned. But this one is really cool with all the zip lines and And you have quite a bit of shade in this one too. Uh -huh. And there's actually basically a platform that goes around probably a little less than half of it, which is something I haven't seen in a lot of them. Most you have like a platform or two that you can jump off of and some stairs that go down to it, but this one's really diverse. So two thumbs up for me. What's up? Hey babe. Yes. Who am I? Oh. Uh, the guy who's ruining our camera. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Laska. If you're liking this video, please subscribe to our channel to see more videos about our life and traveling in Mexico. And now we're back at the first cenote area where there's also a restaurant and they serve like drinks and stuff. So I got a margaritita uh, for 40 pesos and a Coca-Cola for 20 pesos. Now that we're back at this cave cenote, I think I'm just gonna get down here and dip in a little bit to cool off because it is muy caliente, hace calor. And for the first time in my Mexican life, I have an entire cenote to myself. The great thing about these bats though, is that I'm not getting eaten alive by any type of bug or mosquito. So thank you very much, amigos. And please don't run into me. <laughs> Maddie, I thought I lost you for a second. I was about to come find you. <laughs> Did you go in the water? Well, I put like my arms, I put like all the way up to my arms on both sides and then kind of- Like dipping your arms into yeah, the water? Yeah, I, I dipped my arms <laughs> way down there and then I like sat on the platform kind of because yeah. it's above the water. But there were these fish in there and not the tiny kind They were like, this big and they all as soon as I put my leg in they all swam over to me so I'm like they try to eat your dead skin I don't know they were bigger than those type of fish though yeah. so I, I got out <laughs> maybe they're ones that have been very successful at eating lots of dead skin yeah like entire dead bodies maybe that's where my mind went anyway <laughs> are you gonna try to get up there yeah on the wrecking ball I think if I get the lower body like pull myself up maybe do it that way Oh, there you go. You got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I'll climb up and get up there on your lap. And then I'll be on the other side of you. Oh. We did it. We did it. We did it. We came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Two people on this. I don't actually know if it's meant to hold all of that. It was surprisingly difficult for this two people to stay up. really difficult. It was difficult to get up here in the first place. Oh my lord. 
and the bats are angry now. <laughs> Ready? Yep. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> it hurt me too, believe it or not. How? Oh no, oh. you got pinched. Oh no. <laughs> I pictured this whole experience being much more graceful. <laughs> We're just leaving Kinha now. Jordan, what do you think? It was fun, I enjoyed today. It's been my favorite day in a while. <laughs> oh my gosh, in maybe, I don't know, three months and change. This has been so nice, so cleansing to be in the cenote waters. I loved this one. And pretty much the whole time we had it to ourselves and just as we're leaving, mm -hmm. a couple other groups showed up. Yeah, well this was amazing. Like never have we had a private cenote before. <laughs> So I guess if the pandemic has gifted us anything, it might have been this. Yeah, we're going to do this more often for sure. Definitely. This is on Ruta de los Cenotes and there's a whole bunch right along the road. So there's all kinds of signs for this cenote, that cenote. So I think it'd be cool one day to just come out here and just cenote hop and uh, check out a bunch of different ones. Okay, we were just driving down the street and all of a sudden we saw some people taking pictures. So we got to show you what they're looking at. Oh my god. Wow. Hola, senor. I probably shouldn't be this close to you, huh? Yeah. This kind of looks like Alaska. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna back away. You know what this does remind me of though? That face that I always make when I'm like really happy. What is it? Can I see it? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go here because we need to have a little chat with senor cocodrilo. Uh, or not get eaten by <laughs> senor. Or senora, I, I oh, heard it was- Oh, he closed his mouth. Okay, that's time for us to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to turn it around. <laughs> Guys, we just had a celebrity sighting. Oh, celebrity, yeah. sighting. <laughs> celebrity sighting, celebrity It's my Trish advisor! <laughs> Go follow and subscribe. <laughs> so if any restaurant or place wants to open right now, they have to go through something like a 25 page booklet of instructions that they have to follow to the T. And only after they follow all those instructions can they then open. That includes spacing out tables at restaurants, having hand sanitizer and foot sanitizer at the entrance and taking everyone's temperature and things like that. We are now at a restaurant that is right on the beach called Mercadito. Let me just really quick. <laughs> We're at Mercadito. It's right on the ocean here. You can see that behind us where we get the smell of seaweed in our face. It's, it's, not the, we, it's not the greatest smell, but the well, view- Whatever, we get the views. It, the view is amazing, and this is our first restaurant that we've been out to in three months, so zero complaints for me, zipping of the lip, but why and don't to, you- To get the menu, I go to my camera app, and then it's like, open El Mercadito in Safari. And then we got the menu. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? Cheers to feeling like normal people again after today. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Victory sip after three months in our oh, yeah. apartment. It feels good. Yeah, uh, mm, yeah, I dig it. I got calamari rings. We were just gonna get drinks here, but it turns out we have to order food. The law says right now, for whatever reason, probably part of the reopening protocol. Jordan just asked for silverware, which they didn't have. Normally they'll have in this little middle condiment kiosk thing for you, but they didn't. So he asked for it and this is how they brought it. Take this. And then they're all individually wrapped. Look at that. I need a fork. <laughs> There's these two huskies who live by Mercadito and they've been watching us eat and drink the whole time. These two twin huskies, so cute. They're so adorable. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I needed that. I'm ready to go home now. I'm heading back to the U.S. soon to visit family and also because we needed to pick some things up from the U.S. and bring them back. Because of the upcoming trip, we're doing some online shopping. I really don't do that much online shopping unless we're back in the U.S. because the Mexican post is so somewhat unreliable and addresses here in Mexico are confusing. We just haven't figured it out, so we kind of save up any and all purchases we need to make till sometime when we're going back to the U.S. This tool we really like to use is Rakuten because it gets us cash back on purchases we were going to make anyway. Something I like to do is go to the website and then I scroll down to where it says 
hot deals. And right here, it will tell you where there's good sales going on in addition to cash back. And sometimes you can get some really great deals here. Like a place I like to shop is Banana Republic Factory Store for clothes, 50 to 70% off everything plus 4% cash back. Or there's an option like Ray-Ban where they have up to $50 off polarized glasses plus 8% cash back, plus I have an offer on an American Express card where I can get an additional $30 off. There's some really great deals to be had. We'll put a link to Rakuten down in the description of our video. And if you sign up through our link, you're going to get a $10 cash bonus the first time you use the service. We're an affiliate with Rakuten, so if you sign up through our link, we'll get a little something for that and you'll get something as well. We really appreciate that because it helps us continue making videos just like this one. Anyway, you guys, I hope you had as much fun watching this video as we had on this experience getting out of the house. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel to see more that we'll make about Mexico, our life here, and then sometimes traveling to Vegas. But una mas cosa, one more thing before you go. <laughs> Gong that bell so you get notified whenever we release a new video or start live videos on Sundays. And we'll see you soon.